it is a cycle. And you know, semiconductors, you know, I mean, I've been in this industry, whatever, 25 years or a long time. You know, semiconductors do go through these cycles. And the cycles where there's sometimes when um, supply is much greater than demand, and there's sometimes when demand is much greater than supply. And this particular cycle is special because um, what we're seeing is um, the incredible demand for all things um, that require chips is, is having sort of all markets, um, you know, sort of wanting more, uh, more, more supply. And yes, it's a lot to manage, but I have to tell you, um, this industry is also really good at managing these things. And, um, you know, it, it does take a while for the supply and demand, um, you know, imbalance to, uh, to balance itself out. Um, but we are very much working together as an industry. And you know, I'm just amazed, frankly, at what people are able to do when they really put their minds to it because we're being uh, much more creative on how do we um, get more supply out there. Once the shortage ends, then is there going to be too much supply? Will supply outpace demand? Well, um, as cycles go, you know, you do go through ups and downs. I, I think what's important, Emily, is um, it's it's also the strength of um, the product portfolio, the markets um, that we're addressing. You know, at AMD, we've chosen markets um, that we think are very resilient. Like everyone's going to need more computing. You know, whether it's this year, 2022, 2023, uh, we just think commuting computing is one of those trends. That, um, that you're gonna need more of. And so we've been investing in those types of areas. So, you know, my view of the world is that um, it's important to have the right products, it's important to be in the right markets, and then, um, of course, uh, you know, executing well uh, um, along the way. AMD is one of several companies that has sent a letter to President Biden urging him to include more funding for chip manufacturing and research in the United States adding that, that, you know, it's competition with China, it's competition with Taiwan that is at stake. What do you think the U.S. needs to do? Well, I think the, um, the U.S. Uh, is the leader in semiconductors, and we want to stay the leader in semiconductors. And frankly, um, you know, many of um, the countries around the world are investing in the same. Um, and then there's also a discussion about manufacturing and uh, ensuring that there's a good balance of manufacturing across um, the globe as well. So I think you know all of those um, kind of raise the level of importance of semiconductors, and I think it's um, it's uh, great that the administration is choosing you know this industry as one of the priorities uh, to ensure that you know the U.S. maintains its leadership um, in semiconductors. AMD chose Taiwan Semiconductor to make AMD chips, and I wonder: is there something about Taiwan? You know, what is the reason for this very prolific industry there, and you know, producing so much top tech? chip talent. Um, is there something about the island that makes it so fruitful? We're very happy with our partnership with, you know, Taiwan Semiconductor. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're actually the best in the industry. And so, you know, when we think about taking our design, you know, capability, which we think is, you know, at the top of the industry and combine it with their manufacturing expertise, that's the best in, in, this, in, in the industry. That's how you get sort of the best products. And, um, and so certainly we're, we're, we're happy with that. But I, I think the, the key is sort of investing in that long-term nature and ensuring that you have um, you know, the right uh, capabilities um, for this industry. Because frankly, it, it does take you know, many, many you know, double-digit billions to um, uh, keep pushing the leading edge.